Hey guys, Alkali Lake here, and this video is more of a topic for discussion. I'm opening up my YouTube comments, which is scary because YouTube is mean, but you know what? This is a great topic for discussion. Did Blizzard nerf Rush? And I know that's a really bold statement, but I have evidence to support my theory. <laughs> This all started because I was researching cards that are rotating out with the new expansion coming up. And I started with Witchwood, which is when the rush mechanic was first introduced into the game. One thing I noticed right away was that there was a lot of rush cards in that expansion and much less rush cards since then. And at first I thought, well, whoa, are they rotating out rush too? Or are they, are they phasing this out? And then as I started looking at the newer expansions, I, I realized they're not, they just have less of the cards. But one thing I did notice is they made the rush mechanic a little bit more difficult to um, initiate or to take effect. And you'll notice if you look at cards from Witchwood versus cards from more recent expansions that the text on the cards has a lot to do with whether the rush mechanic works. Where previously in the Witchwood expansion, a lot of the cards just said rush or rush taunt, rush divine shield. Um, and if you look at cards from the newer expansions, they'll say things like, you can give a minion rush or you have rush only if your opponent has a dragon or you have rush if you have something else going on or a, a weapon gives something rush. It's, it's very different and is that a nerf because you have to work harder to get the mechanic to apply? Or is it not a nerf? Are they just trying to add more interest or flavor to the game? I don't know, but it's definitely worth talking about. And are they secretly nerfing it? Because it's not something that they've talked about. I really want to know what you think um, and, um, you know, what conclusions you've come to based on my findings. All right, so to validate my claim, we're going to start here um, at Hearthstone.Gamepedia. And this, I just searched for cards under the, the rush mechanic within Hearthstone. And they separate the cards in the rush with the rush mechanic by whether or not they have rush or whether they generate cards with rush. And I'll show you those cards in each section and what's changing with them. So right here, we have all the cards with rush. These are what I would call the more basic cards. Um, the cards that just have Rush pretty much regardless. Um, in the middle here, we have Rabid Worgen. It just says Rush on it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, Hunting Mastiff, Echo Rush, so you can, let's say you had six mana, you could uh, summon three of these. Um, all of these are pretty straightforward, right? Well, there's 42 of these straightforward rush cards and out of the 42 of these i made a note here 26 are rotating out so that is more than half of the basic rush cards are leaving and only 16 are staying if we come down here to um cards that are rush generating cards meaning you have to do something else to make them work they don't just have rush for the most part there are some exceptions um so for example uh thunderhead after you play a card with overload summon two one one sparks with rush or um crag which is a new card um from the uh current adventure pack uh, battle cry if you've played a quest this game so you have to do something to act activate it then you can summon a 4-2 parrot with rush so again not straightforward the mechanic seems to be changing a bit um or let's take a look at oh storm eggs a great example and this is a card that's going to be sticking around at the start of your turn transform into a 4-4 storm drake with rush that's quite different right from the cards that we were looking at in the other section so out of the last section, there was 42 of them, 26 are leaving and only 16 are staying. From this rush generating section, um, there's 23 cards, only nine are leaving and 14 are staying. So that's a significant percentage that are staying. Now granted, some of those are newer cards, but they've changed the wording on the newer cards. So it's kind of substantiating my claim. We'll head down here and there's some other cards um, that are rush um, granting. So this one's um, magnetic 
and let's see, uh, Houndmaster Shaw, your other minions have Rush, so you have to play this card before your other cards can have Rush. Out of these 18 um, Rush granting cards, uh, 10 are leaving, so only um, 8 are staying. So again, um, mostly cards that are granting Rush or giving Rush are what's going to be staying in the cards. Um, in the card game are, are a more complicated text. So again, these are these are all your cards, and we are losing everything from Witchwood, um, Boomsday, and Rastakhan. All those are leaving. So next up, I'm going to show you actual cards um, in the game, and we'll talk about which ones are staying. And I, I want to show you um, in game the the difference between the wording on the cards. I think you'll start to see what I'm talking about when we look at it in the client. So here we are in the Hearthstone game, and all I've done so far is just type in Rush at the bottom. I do have Crafting on, just in case there's a card I don't have. That way it'll pop up so you can see it, although I'm pretty sure I have all of them. And I have it set down here to Witchwood, so you guys can see just how many cards were out when Witchwood when Witchwood first um, came out. And these are all the cards that have Rush and it's all very, very simple wording. I counted uh, 18 cards that had Rush and one weapon that had Rush. So we'll just sort through these pretty quickly. You'll see um, Divine Shield Rush, very simple text. Um, all of these say Rush at the very, very top of the card. So that's one difference you'll notice. Like Rush is the very first thing it says on most of these cards. And that's the difference I'm trying to point out. Like immediately you can tell it's a Rush card. You don't have to read on on most of them to find out if indeed you have Rush or if you can grant something Rush. So again, 18 cards from Witchwood. We'll take a look at Boomsday. Boomsday gave us 12 cards and a hero. Again, Rush is at the top of most of these. We do get complicated here with Shaman. I mentioned that earlier when we were on Gamepedia. Uh, Thunderhead is a little bit more complicated. You summon things with Rush, but that's expected in Shaman, especially overload decks. Um, this was Dr. Boom, Mad Genius. I actually made a cosplay of this. Um, I need to upload a video about that, but you can find it on my Instagram. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, Dr. Boom was one of my favorite cards back in the day, um, but it was also very simple with the Rush mechanic. Um, all of your mechs had Rush when you played Dr. Boom. Nothing complicated there. Um, and then neutral cards. Uh, this is where we first got to see Zilliax, which is um, a very prevalent card in the game. It's in almost every single deck right now. It's it, it's interesting to see what's going to happen when this rotates out because it's been so such a pivotal card. It, it's in it's in so many decks. It's amazing. But again, it was also pretty straightforward um, with its rush. You didn't have to do anything to give this card rush. It just had it. We start to move on to um, Rastakhan's Rumble and we get a little bit more complicated, but not too bad. Still, most of these are pretty straightforward. Springpot, it just has Rush. It gives you another card that has Rush. Halatsi, fill your cards with hands that have Rush. I mean, sorry, fill your card with um, Lynxes that have Rush. Um, and those just simply have Rush. You don't have to do anything to those cards. Um, Shervala, another really cool card with Rush. Um, it has Divine Shield and Life uh, and Lifesteal, but again, you don't have to play something else to give it Rush. You don't have to have a mech on board. Your opponent doesn't have to have a dragon on board. This card simply just has Rush. But all of these cards are leaving the game, and in their wake come cards, um, starting with Rise of the Shadows and on into Old Doom and Descent of Dragons, that become much more complicated. I want to focus on Descent of Dragons because this is where I really start to notice that rush changed not that it changed the mechanic still works how it always did just that in general you have to do something to get rush to work so is that a nerf would you call that a nerf I don't know the topics open for discussion um, it's definitely not the same as it used to be Diving Griffin here certainly has Rush. This is a very straightforward Rush card, and I'm happy to see that they kept some of them. It's a 3 mana, 4-1 card, Rush. Battle Cry, draw a Rush. And um, most of the Rush cards that you're going to draw, um, actually I think all of them, um, 
just half rush which is pretty neat but we have a new quest that in order to summon a card with rush you have to play three rush minions um Nithog, another complicated card where um, Rush has sen then, uh, since been moved to the bottom of the card. Previously, I showed you, uh, especially in the Witchwood expansion, Rush was at the very top of the card. But notice on most of these, it has moved to the bottom, you guys. Is that a nerf? I've, I've got to find out. What, it, what do you guys think? Nithog, battle cry, summon two zero three eggs. Next turn, they hatch into 4-4 four, four Drakes with Rush. So you don't get rush right away here with this one. Scion of Ruin. You do get rush right away on one card. So you pay four mana for a 3-2 with rush. Or if you've invoked twice, which is a new mechanic that came with Galakron's Awakening, um, you get two copies of it. So you get three of them. So basically you're not play putting this card in your deck without having intent on summoning it to its full capability. So is that a nerfed rush? I don't know, maybe nerf's too strong of a word, but it's definitely not Rush in its simplicity how it was when Witchwood came out. That is for certain. Let's get on to the neutral cards, and this is where you really start to see Rush is no longer at the top of most of the cards. Take a look at Go uh, Gobo Glide Tech. Battle Cry. If you control a mech, gain plus one, plus one, and Rush. So it's a battle cry. And you have to have a mech on board. It can't be in your hand. You have to control it. And then you can get plus one, plus one, and rush. So it's good for a three mana card because it gives you time on turn one and turn two to get a mech on the board that will stick. This is why mechs like Mecharoo work so well because if they happen to die, you summon one in its place. So it's definitely very playable and is seeing a ton of play in Mech Paladin right now. But again, Rush is at the bottom of the card. Um, we do have Devoted Mechanic that has Rush at the top of the card so it does immediately have rush um but it is part of that galacrond package so you're playing it to have um to synchronize with other mechanics in your deck so i mean this one's not fair to really add in to um what i'm trying to do here and and the argument i'm trying to make uh sure it does have rush that didn't change but it's just part of a whole nother mechanic in the game with galacron's awakening uh dragon maw poacher a great example rush is the very last word on the card which means you have to do something else to get the rush to work your opponent has to control a dragon which means this is something that you cannot control um you have to assume that most of your opponents are playing dragons in their decks right now which is fairly safe to do in the current meta but who knows how long that will stay hippogriff it is a card that is a straightforward rush card like i was talking about from the witchwood expansion however this does not get play i've not seen anybody play this card um if you've seen anybody play this card or you have a deck that features this card please post your deck code in the comments below and i will take a look at it faceless corruptor very cool card it does have rush at the top um, so does Evasive Worm, and so does Gyrocopter, but again, I do not see Gyrocopter in play. Maybe that will change with the new expansion, I'm not sure. Now let's go on into Galakron's Awakening. We have Sky General Crag. Uh, it's a very cool card. I love this card. It's seeing a lot of play right now, especially in Hunter. Um, but again, it's not a card that has Rush as the initial mechanic, like at the top of the card. You only get a Rush minion if you have played a quest um, during the game. So if you happen to draw this card last and you've already completed your quest, it is n you're not going to get your 4-2 pair it with Rush. So again, another way that they've complicated putting Rush minions on the board. Now I want to clarify, I don't disagree with their tactic. I think it's great because I was not a fan of the heavy Rush meta, especially while Dr. Boom was in play and all their mechs um, could have Rush. It was very infuriating to play against. Um, it did not allow you to keep a stable board, which is uh, difficult and can be frustrating for players. So I actually like all the text that they've put on the cards. I'm just not sure if we can call it a nerf or not and that's what this video is all about did blizzard secretly nerf the rush mechanic they didn't tell us about it i didn't see it anywhere on any reddit posts when i researched this did they pull one over on us did they slowly phase out the basic rush mechanic and make it more complicated i want to know what you think I hope you liked this video. I hope the topic was interesting to you. If so, I'll make many more. 
Um, if you liked it, please hit like. It helps my videos survive on YouTube and helps me grow my channel. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this and follow me on Twitch where I stream four days a week. You can find me there. Thank you so much uh, for tuning in and I will see you guys next time.